Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at how you can get an A star in ICT IGCSE subject code 30417 from someone who got 94 in IGCSE May June 2025. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, I want to first start by telling you guys what my ICT experience was like. So personally, I thought that ICT was a pretty fun subject because I loved doing the practicals and then I also used to make a lot of videos for ICT so that was a very fun part for me but then the theory was a bit exhausting for me because I'm personally not a person that can memorize everything and then write it down so that was definitely a bit difficult for me but I got through it and I'll show you how you can also get through it. Now the textbook. I know a lot of you guys have the ICT textbook and many of you actually study from it but I'll be very honest with you. If you are using this textbook, you are wasting a lot of your time because there is so much unnecessary information in it that you just do not need. And I'll be honest with you, throughout my three years of IGCSE, I never opened that book. I just didn't open it because I knew that if I opened it, I will be wasting my time. But instead, if you are someone that really wants to use the textbook, then use this one because uh, feel free to find its um, online PDF on Google. Because this one has everything the same, but condensed into the things that you actually need. And I think it also has some ways you can answer questions and extra things that could help you. So definitely you go for this one and not that one. Then, theory resources and how you should study. Now, as you all know, IDCSE resources is one of the best places to find all the combined resources. And one thing I'll definitely say is that the mark scheme is your textbook. If you are someone in grade 8 or grade 9, you probably wouldn't it, you probably wouldn't understand it as much as someone who is in grade 10 because the mark scheme is where all your answers are hidden. And I'll share with you guys some of my resources that I used to get the A star and that would get you the A star as well. For example, um, yes, so this is where I had all my ICT definitions. I'll put a link in the um, description. So over here, you can access this. Then, huge shout out to my friend Auburn Pong Body, who also got 94 in ICT. So what we did was that any difficult question we found, we created a Google Doc and just put it over there. So this is actually a 78 pages long um, document. So if you go through this, you'll probably go through all the difficult as well as the easy questions that you need to get the A star that you want. And you can also see there are some other resources here as well. And then this is the document I used to gather all the 2024 um, two and three mark questions, which are very important. Trust me, they're very important. So you'll find the questions over here and then the mark scheme over here. So definitely go through it. I will put the link in the description. All right. Then study method. Now, everyone has different ways to study. Personally, what worked for me was that I would teach my friends in class. I'll teach on YouTube. And that gave me a better understanding. So find the study method that best works for you. You can try using different techniques such as Pomodoro technique and other techniques that are there available. Oops, let me present. Uh, just a second. Uh, never mind. Then moving on. Solve past papers. Now this is crucial for any IDCSC subject, not just ICT solve as many past papers as you can for especially practicals because practicals contain almost 60 percent of your marks and theory goes for 40. so once you get a hold of how to do the practicals then you can focus a lot on your theory then i said to you to channel now obviously you have to be watching me come on i have made a lot of ict videos on theory and practicals so definitely check them out and then to be honest, the ICT channel that helped me the most was Nikos Pafetis because he made um, go through on how to solve all the um, practical papers and that gave me an idea on where I was wasting time, where I could save time and the mistakes I was making. So definitely watch his videos. Yamad is also the OP, a theory guy. And if you want quick summaries, then you can watch Adobe. Then I would highly suggest that you join IGCSC um, Discord channel and the Reddit channels, the discussions over there are very helpful and you get to learn a lot. If you have any question, you can also post it over there and people are always ready to help you. And that's all. If you want to join my Telegram channel with over 2,300 people currently, 
feel free to join it and if you have any questions feel free to email me as well i'm not putting my number here of course and that'll be all for this video thank you for watching and if you want to if you want me to make a video on any other subject feel free to comment the subject and i'll make it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video till then tada